What's happening, everyone? This is Shane. I want to read another email to you today. Um, it's from a guy named Jesse who bought the FAI Fix program. And what he said is, Hey, Matt and Shane. First of all, thank you for this program. I purchased it about two weeks ago, and it's been quite helpful. I've been struggling with FAI for a few years now, and I was getting pretty close to biting the bullet and getting surgery before seeing your YouTube videos. I have a few questions that I hope you could help with. My main issues involve hip flexor stretches and adductor stretches. I'm really struggling to effectively stretch these muscle, muscles without causing myself pain in the front of the hip, the top of the quad area, or sometimes in the outer hip, glute medius area. For example, I'll try the kneeling hip flexor stretch with my left leg in front of me and my right leg behind. As I try to deepen into a position where I can actually feel my hip flexors on my right side stretching, I feel a sharp pain in the front of my left hip. The reverse is also true, but it's worse on my left side. A similar pain is felt in different variations of the stretch. I have to be extremely careful with the goalie stretch and other adductor stretches to not cause myself similar or worse pain. When I do the frog stretch, I can hardly get a groin stretch because a sharp hip pinch dominates that position. I'll be glad to provide more details regarding other stretches if needed. Thanks for the time, Jesse. So, Jesse, thank you for the email. Um, I already shot you back a short email, but I wanted to create this video for anyone else who might be going through a similar situation. As I was going through my own situation, the exact same thing happened to me. Several years ago, if I tried to do the frog stretch, the butterfly stretch, many hip flexor stretches, they didn't feel right. They didn't feel like muscular stretches. And the principle that I kind of learned over time is that if a stretch does not feel like just a normal uh, muscular stretch, like there's a little bit of give to it, there's a little bit of bounce, um, and it feels more sharp, um, there's probably dense tissue in that area. If you visualize, for example, some beef jerky, how stretchable is beef jerky? Not very. Until you kind of chew it up, mashing it up, soften it up, and then maybe it has a little bit more give. Obviously, it's not going to stretch very much, but it will be a little bit more malleable. So the principle that I learned over several years of tissue work and stretching day in and day out was if any stretch felt abnormal to me on that side, it was time for me to go search and destroy and play detective and hunt in that area with tissue work pressing in, using various tools, checking out different angles. And I would find, all every single time, I would find tissue that felt abnormally dense and junky. I would work on it. I would have my deep tissue therapist work on it. And over time, as I softened it up, the butterfly stretches, the frog stretches, and the hip flexor stretches all started to feel normal, like how they did on my other side. So that's the number one thing that I want to leave you with is if stretches don't feel normal, there's probably too dense tissue in there and you need to go do tissue work in and around it using all the various tools and techniques that we've given you. The other piece to this is in the hip flexor stretch, some people when they go into that stretch and they're in this kind of lunge shape, if their knee is on the ground and their butt is not active, then they'll go into the stretch and they'll feel a pain in the front of the hip. For me, I always felt like my femur was almost like tipping forward into the front of the hip socket and bumping into it and making things not feel good. So what really worked for me was motor control, meaning better positioning. So instead of being all arched and overextended in your hip flexor stretches, if you really exaggerate a crunch, Get your butt on and butt squeezed and then go into the stretch. Sometimes that helps. The second part is taking the back knee off the ground and doing a standing hip flexor stretch and really exaggerating the crunch, the lean forward, and then dropping your hip down. We go over that in the FAI Fix program and the FAI Fix for athletes, but if you're just someone who's trying it out on your own and you don't have the programs yet, do the tissue work in those areas and then try hip flexor stretches with better rib positioning, ribs down, having your glutes active, and see if that doesn't make the hip flexor stretches feel a lot better, make the butterfly stretch feel better, make the frog stretch feel better, and all that stuff. So good luck. Let us know how it goes. And I'll talk to you next time. Hey, guys. It's Shane. I wanted to show you a jump stretch band hamstring and adductor stretching sequence. 
This was one of the first hamstring and adductor stretching sequences that I learned from a guy named Dick Hartzell of Jump Stretch Bands, and it's awesome. 